Diaries. So recently, if you've been following me on Instagram, I've been super into TFC pudding. I don't know what took me so long to like get on the train of the TFC pudding, but we're finally here and I have three absolutely delicious protein packed vegan chia seed pudding recipes for you today. So all I have to say is that each of these bowls is packed with over 30 grams of protein, which is pretty phenomenal. I can see that happening. For a vegan breakfast that is super simple, it's made with four ingredients. Actually, wait, no, I take that back. It's actually three main ingredients and then we're gonna doctor it up if you want to try these fun flavors. But first we're gonna go over how to make chia seed pudding and then we're gonna go over how to make each of these three flavors. So you can have the plain chia seed pudding and then make it however you want or you can try out one of these recipes which is also linked down below in the comment section. So without further ado, let's begin. <laughs> you anything ever so so a protein backed chia seed pudding consists of chia seeds a dairy-free milk and some pea protein now I like to also add in some maple syrup for a little bit of extra sweetness if I am not doing my banana bread chia seed pudding which is this guy right here and I'll show you that recipe in just a few minutes but basically you're just gonna combine all these ingredients and then let them sit overnight in the fridge and it turns into this super thick super massive <laughs> chia seed pudding. I don't know what happens, but it like doubles in size overnight. But what's cool about chia seed pudding is that you can actually make this for an easy, healthy meal prep breakfast that is great for both kids and adults. You can take it on the go, or you could just eat it at home as I do since I work from home. But now let's get into how to actually make chia seed pudding. So we have chia seeds, pea protein powder, and I like to use oat milk. We can use any dairy-free milk. So we're gonna start with just two tablespoons of chia seeds. You can use either black or white chia seeds or a mix. And then we'll add in two tablespoons of pea protein. I like to use unflavored, but you of course can use a flavored pea protein if you enjoy that. And then uh, we're just going to whisk it together with a fork. I think that it's a lot easier to mix this together with a fork than a spoon, but whatever you have on hand. And then we'll add in some dairy-free milk, which you can actually make your own oat milk. I will link that video up above. And you can also add in some vanilla extract here if you'd like. But we're just gonna continue to mix it until all the clumps are almost gone. Um, not all of them will be completely gone, but that's okay because once it's soaked, then it will just be able to mix it a lot smoother. And then we, of course, add in a little bit of maple syrup. You can omit this if you'd like. And next up, we just simply cover it and we're going to leave it in the fridge for at least three hours, but you can also just leave it in the fridge overnight, which is what I do. I like to make it the night before and then I have breakfast ready to go. And now for the fun part. So we're gonna start off by making my banana bread chia seed pudding. All the recipes use the basic chia seed pudding recipe except for this one. You'll first start by mashing the banana and I use about half a banana and then I like to top with the remaining half of the banana on top. But then you're going to mix in the chia seeds as well as the pea protein into the mashed banana. And of course sprinkle in a little bit of cinnamon as well because that'll give it that banana bread taste. Then you'll just start to mix it all together. So it'll be a little bit clumpy, but it'll start to even out once you add in the dairy-free milk here. So this is basically just, you know, you're mashing the banana and then you're basically making the basic chia seed pudding recipe on top. And then you just need to cover it and let it sit overnight. And now let's get to the toppings because that is the best part. So of course we're gonna top with a few extra bananas strawberries, a few chocolate chips, a sprinkle of peanuts, and a little bit of coconut flakes, and of course a spoonful of peanut butter. And you can also make this completely nut free by using your favorite seed butter or even coconut butter. And next up we have a version of a Cherry Garcia Chia Pudding. So basically you're going to take the base chia seed pudding recipe that I had and we're going to add in a tablespoon of cacao powder and just mix it all together. So the trick with the cacao powder is that it's not going to mix fully into the chia seed pudding before it's refrigerated, but after it's refrigerated, it's so much easier to mix in and you'll get this super thick and super creamy chocolate chia seed pudding. And then all you have to do is top. 
So I like to sprinkle on a little bit of extra cacao powder along with some chocolate hazelnut granola, which is actually a grain-free granola from Curly Elizabeth. And then some chopped cherries, of course, and a few chocolate chips, a little bit of coconut, and a drizzle of melted chocolate chips. So I like to use the Lily Sweets because it is lightly sweetened with stevia and they're completely dairy-free as well. And it's basically a dessert for breakfast. And finally, we have the red velvet chia pudding. This actually tastes like red velvet, so it's really cool. What you're gonna do is you're gonna add in a teaspoon of cacao powder along with some beet powder, and then I like to add in a tablespoon of dairy-free yogurt, and then you just mix it all together. Much like the chocolate chia soup pudding, it's going to mix a lot better after it's been refrigerated, and then you get this super creamy, super beautifully red and velvety chia pudding. So to top, I like to add in a little bit of extra dairy-free yogurt, and my favorite brand is Forager Milk, but you can use any of your favorite dairy-free yogurt brands. I also topped with some chopped cherries along with some strawberries, and of course a sprinkling of chocolate chips and a little dusting of beet powder. into some vegan breakfast then be sure to go check out my vegan breakfast video which is another video that's packed with some protein packed plant-based breakfast which is pretty cool so let me know which one of these chia seed puddings you like the best personally it really depends on the day and the mood for me i really love the banana bread chia seed pudding because you know banana diaries day is bananas b-a-n-a-n-a-s this day is bananas B A N A. But I also can get down with some cherry Garcia chocolate madness thing. This guy right here. It's real good. So you can find the full recipes of these linked down below in the comments section. And yeah, give me a follow on Instagram if you'd like to see more of the behind the scenes of what it's like to be a food blogger, as well as some recipes that I like to share on stories and the gram. I think that's it. So yeah, I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your day and remember that you are an incredible human being. You deserve to be here, and I'm always rooting for you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I feel like chia seed pudding normally doesn't get like this, but like, this is just, wow. It tastes like red velvet. I'm a happy camper.